Lord Jesus, we praise you, bless you. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, we praise you and we bless you. Lord Jesus, we praise you and we bless you. Lord Jesus, we praise you and we bless you. Good evening and welcome to Saturday evening prayers. And it is the prayer of Vespers, the Divine Office, that we monks and sisters say around about this time in the Catholic Christian tradition. And it's good to welcome you. And I see that Vincent has joined us on Facebook with dear sister Amir, welcome. And also to Olivia, welcome. If you have a candle handy, why not light your candle with ours? Because this evening I'm dedicating our prayers for universal peace in the Cathedral of God and also for all your requests. We light this light in the name of our Father, Mother God, who creates all life. In the name of Jesus, the cosmic Christ, who loves life. In the name of the Holy Spirit, who is the fire of life. And in the name of all faith traditions and none, we come to this table of love as children of a loving God who has many names and none. And we come in peace. Amen. And now we ring our little bells for that unity and peace in the world. And welcome dear Sister Sue and dear Agnes, welcome. Oh God, come to my aid, oh Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now our hymn is not from the Divine Office for week five after Easter, but from the hymn for living from our Unitarian brothers and sisters. And the hymn this evening that Spirit guided me to read is titled, I Cannot Lose Thee, and it's by Elisa Scudder, 1821, a good year. I cannot find thee still on restless pinion. My spirit beats the void where thou dost dwell. I wander lost through all thy vast dominion and shrink beneath thy light ineffable. I cannot find thee, e'en when most adoring, before thy shrine I bend in lowliest prayer. Beyond these bounds of thought, my thought upsoaring, from farthest quest comes back, thou art not there. Yet high above the limits of my seeing, and folded far within my inmost heart, and deep below the deeps of conscious being, thy splendor shineth, there, O God, thou art. I cannot lose thee, still in thee abiding, the end is clear, how wide soar I roam, the Lord that holds the worlds, my steps is guiding, and I must rest at last in thee, my home. Isn't that an awesome hymn? I cannot lose thee. And that's why we come together to pray, so that we don't lose our love affair with the beloved, with the God who loves us. That love affair needs to be nurtured through prayer and joy and singing and dancing. So now the first at the first antiphon for Vespers for this Saturday evening 
Let the raising of my hands in prayer please you like the evening oblation. Alleluia. And now we read Psalm 140, but we're going to read a modern version of the psalm by the Reverend Leslie Brandt. O God, deliver our nation and our world from those men in positions of authority who resort to violence to carry out their objectives. They sweet talk us into believing they are acting in our interests and brainwash us into blind flag-waving allegiance until we march by their side into bloody wars that decimate and destroy our brothers and sisters in the family of man. Deliver all of us, O oh God, from the notion that anything of value or worth can be obtained by hostile or violent actions. Our God is on the side of those who are afflicted. He will justly deal with men of violence and show his mercy upon the victims of their obscene actions. Help us, O Lord, even at the risk of our lives and well-being, to overcome hate with love and to be peacemakers in a world that is so racked and distorted by the atrocities of war. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we repeat the antiphon. Let the raising of my hands in prayer please you at the evening oblation. And the second antiphon. You have brought me out from prison to give praise to your name. Alleluia. And now we read Psalm 141. And we're going to read the modern version. O oh God, I come to you in sorrow and shame. I spoke up in my own defence today and uttered words that knifed their way into the heart of my friend. And this created a great rift between us. I would never raise my hand to strike him, but the tongue is more destructive than the fist and I hurt that one whom I love. Heal the hurt of my friend, O Lord, and heal the sickness within my heart that forced my foolish tongue into such irresponsible actions. I come to claim your loving mercy. I pray as well that you grant my friend the grace to forgive me. May your spirit who abides in my heart curb and control my rebellious tongue and teach me to speak words that give life and promote love in the hate-ridden world about me. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You have brought me out from prison to give praise to your name. Alleluia. And the third antiphon, the Son of God learned to obey through suffering and he became the source of eternal salvation for all those who obey him. Alleluia. <clears throat> and now we have a canticle from St. Paul's letter to the Philippines, chapter 2, 
verses 6 to 11. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed upon him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and that every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God our Father Mother. We now pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Son of God learned to obey through suffering, and he became the source of eternal salvation for all those who obey him. Alleluia. And now for our special reading for the fifth Saturday, or the fifth week after Easter, and it's from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9 to 10. You are a chosen race a royal priesthood, a people set apart to sing the praises of God. A God who called you out of the darkness into this wonderful light. Once you were not a people at all, and now you are the people of God. Once you were outside the mercy, and now you've been given God's mercy. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. And the short response read, the disciples rejoiced. Alleluia. Alleluia. They saw the Lord. The disciples rejoiced. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. The disciples rejoiced. Alleluia, alleluia. And the Magnificat Antiphon, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father, Mother God, except through me. Alleluia. And now we come to the Canticle of Mary, the Magnificat, Mary's response to the Archangel Gabriel, who came to her as a young teenage girl to bring her the good news that she would conceive in her womb the Messiah. And the Magnificat is Mary's response to the Archangel Gabriel. But let you and me use her words to give our response to the fresh outpouring of Christ's love in our heart. My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God who is my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness, henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, and holy is his name. <clears throat> his mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He took forth in strength, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> he puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and he exalts the lowly, and he fills the starving with good things, and he sends the rich away empty-handed. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. 
Let us now pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we repeat the antiphon. Where are we? I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to our Father, Mother, God, except through me. Alleluia. And now we come to our evening intercessions. Let us pray to the cosmic Christ, our life and our resurrection. Response, Son of the living God, protect your people. We pray for your Catholic Church. May she reveal among the nations your kingdom of justice and holiness. Response, Son of the living God, protect your people. <clears throat> we pray for the religious leaders of all faiths, that they will come back to Assisi, the birthplace of peace, and learn to forgive one another for the historical woundedness carried out in the name of God. We pray for that peace. Response, Son of the living God, protect your people. We pray for the sick, the sorrowful, captives and exiles. Show them your power and compassion. Response, Son of the living God, protect your people. We pray for those who have lost you in the maze of life. Let them know once more the joy of coming home to you. Response, Son of the living God, protect your people. Crucified and risen Saviour, you will come again in judgment. Be merciful to us who are sinners. Response, Son of the living God, protect your people. We pray for all the living and for those who have left this world in the hope of the resurrection. Response, Son of the living God, protect your people. And now, my dear friends, let us be still, because this is your time to present what is heavy on your heart to the Christ. He gave his life for you. And all he asks is that when you are in trouble or when you're feeling anxious or afraid or may be lost in your faith journey or in life's journey, he asks you to come home to your heart, not your head. The head will always put you down. I believe the head is the seed bed of the Antichrist, who fills us with lots of negative energy, low self-worth, low self-esteem, depression, anxiety, and fear. So let us name, let us bless, and release those issues to Christ. And in a mindset of gratitude, Let's leave them there with him and just keep saying thank you, Lord, for answering my prayer when you know I'm ready to receive it. So let us do that now. But let's do it in joy because he is the Prince of Peace. like you now just for a moment or two to be mindful of this young man who happens to be called Jesus the barefoot Galilean you and I both know that he gave his life for us 
He gave his life so that we could be free. And yet many who say they love God give lip service to God because their hearts are closed through fear or negative brainwashing that they're unworthy of his love. If we were unworthy of his love, why would he die for us? He died to set us free, to reclaim our divinity as a unique child of God, created in the image and likeness of our Father Mother God. So close your eyes just for a moment. And with each in-breath you breathe in, be aware, be aware of the peace around you. He is the son of peace. He's present in that peace and he's offering to you now his peace. And the moment you surrender your heart, to his love for you, you become that peace. So wherever you go, whatever you do, you are the peace of Christ. So now breathe in that peace and let his love saturate your mind, your body and your spirit. And now relax in his love. Just be still and let him come to you. <clears throat> he knows you by name because he called you by name. So let him now come to you and let him enfold you and caress you and relieve you of all fear, guilt, shame, baggage, unworthiness. You are a child of the light. So become awakened to his love. It is a precious love. It is a selfless love. It's a reverent love for you. Just relax and sense the Lord Christ embrace you. And with every in-breath you breathe in, you are sensing in your spirit a reawakening of who God sees Christ sees you in a different light to what you see of yourself. He sees you as a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a people set apart to sing the praises of God in joy, where there's laughter, music, dance, happiness. He doesn't want his children to be long-faced and miserable. He wants you to vibrate his love. First to yourself, then to your loved ones, and then to the world. Rest in his arms. and feel his love. There is no better love than his. Breathe in the breath of God. O oh, Father, Mother God, breathe on us, O oh, breath of God. Fill us with life in you that we might love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, 
I bring to you now all your brothers and sisters who are here. I bring all our friends on social media, on Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn and Google Hangouts. I bring to you my brothers and sisters in the Teo community around the world. <clears throat> I bring those who are hurting, maybe discouraged or maybe going through their own dark night of the soul. Lord, lay your healing hands on them. And we bring our dear sister Krista in Montana. We bring sister Mary Josephine in Georgia and the beautiful vision that spirit gave to her to establish for St. Francis and Clare, to unite Franciscans of different beliefs to come together as one loving family for unity and peace. So we bless Sister Mary Josephine and for Brother Paul, who gave up his own Franciscan ministry to be there for his dear friend George, who was very ill in hospital, but now doing really well. So we say thank you, Lord, for Paul and for dear George and for the children of God who at this hour have lost everything and those who've lost their love of God, we remember them. For those on death row, for the men, women and young people in prisons around the world, for our migrants and refugees, Lord, forgive those who commit the most awful crimes, who say it's in the name of Allah, Jehovah or God, forgive them. And now bless each one of us here. Thank you, Lord. And now we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give to all of us here, dear Lord, our daily bread. Forgive us, O oh Lord, forgive us our stubbornness, our selfishness, our impatience, our impetuosity, our lack of commitment. Forgive us for sitting in judgment on your children who may not be of our color or creed or have chosen our lifestyle choice, forgive us. For judgment is yours, dear Lord, not ours. Lead us not astray, but protect us from the Antichrist who is real and who is cunning and who will do everything and use anything to lead us away from you. Protect us, Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And so be it. And Lord, I forgot to mention the requests that we receive listed in our prayer request book too many to mention by name. So Lord, thank you for taking care of those. Amen. And our closing prayer <clears throat> is, since it is from you, God, our Father, Mother, that redemption comes to us, your adopted children, look with favor on the family you love. Give true freedom to us and to all who believe in the cosmic Christ and bring us all alike to our eternal heritage. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus the Christ who lives and who reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> 
And now, for a simple Celtic blessing from Iona, the blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky, on those we love this night, and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon, and the gifts of the animal kingdom, be in our hearts now and forevermore. Amen. And as I blow out this flame, that for me represents Christ. He is among us. He is present with us. I thank him for touching your hearts and giving you hope and being your lifeblood and that his love will empower you now. Take back your power and celebrate your divinity as a unique child of God. Amen. So go in peace to love and to serve our God. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, pax et bona mom shanti, solo di caritas, salam alaikum, and may the peace from the King of Peace in the presence of the Queen of Peace become your peace, for you are God's ambassadors for peace. Amen. Thank you all for being here. And in the words of our Holy Father, St. Francis, may God reward you with abundant blessings. Amen. Thank you. I look forward to your company again, hopefully in the morning. But for now, if you're in America, have a wonderful day. And here in Europe, I pray you have a restful evening. God bless.